okay next is uh, we will see uh, different types of uh, crystalline solids so basically those crystalline solids are classified into molecular solids ionic solids covalent solids and metallic solids so here is a table in which characteristics properties then different types of solids are given first characteristic is constituent particles in molecular solids small molecules are present as a constituent particle in ionic solids positive and negative ions are there means cation and anion in covalent solids atoms are there as a constituent particle and in metallic solid positive ions cations in a sea of electrons are present second characteristics which binding forces are present in those solids molecular solids van der waal forces are present ionic solid strong electrostatic force of attraction is there in between cation and anion in covalent solid covalent bond forces are present and in metallic solid metallic bonds are present and those metallic bonds are stronger than ionic and covalent bonds third characteristics is properties molecular solids are soft low melting point volatile good insulator and low heat of fusion ionic solids are hard and brittle high melting point poor conductor of heat and electricity but their solution is a good conductor of heat and electricity only solids are poor conductor of heat and electricity high heat of fusion covalent uh, solids very hard because covalent bonds are stronger bond high melting point poor conductor of heat and electricity and high heat of fusion metallic solids soft to hard okay some metals are soft and some metals are very hard so that's why melting point is also moderate to high good conductors of heat and electricity because of mobility of electrons they possess metallic luster ductile malleable and moderate heat of fusion is present now we will see examples molecular solids solid co2 h2 i2 so2 ccl4 ionic solids salts like nacl potassium nitrate lithium fluoride etc covalent solids diamond si say silicon carbide or quartz or sio2 these are covalent solids and metallic solids all common metals like copper gold zinc iron and alloys those are examples of metallic solids further molecular solids are classified into three categories non polar molecular solids that means there is no charge separation example solid co2 or i2 polar molecular solids means molecules possess a charge separation example hcl solid so2 etc and third uh, class is hydrogen bonded molecular solids and example is solid ice so this is what about classification of crystalline solids